Hello, my name is Cody, and today I'm going to be talking about the home capital crisis. Uh, so it's been all over the news lately. Uh, home capital stocks dropped uh, 77%. Uh, it's been every single headline across Canada. Uh, the subprime mortgage lender uh, almost going under. So let's get. Capital is an alternative mortgage lender. They give mortgages to people that uh, can't get it from one of the big banks. Uh, if they have either no uh, existing credit history or poor credit history, and then they go to places like Home Capital and they can get a mortgage. They sell GICs and other financial products as well. So Home Capital trades under HCG on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Recently, the stock has dropped uh, more than 65% by the end of April, and now uh, it's down 77%. So in the last couple of days, actually on Tuesday, it rallied about 10%, but it's, that's just as much as it's rallied it's at all. All the action is caused by an accusation by the Security Exchange Commission about the executives making false and misleading uh, information to the public about the reasons the alternative mortgage lender has begun to extend fewer loans. Um, now this was back in 2014-2015, so it was actually a little while ago, um, and the Ontario Securities Exchange Commission says it caused significant harm to investors. Uh, so there's some major, major accusations. Uh, nothing's actually been proven right now, uh, but the SEC is definitely on their tail, and Home Capital is doing major, major damage control right now. Now, Home Capital, on the other hand, says that their disclosures should have been satisfactory, and they're up to all requirements that were required by the SEC. So right now, Home Capital has $118 billion in outstanding mortgages. So how did all this happen? Well, the bad news went over, and about a billion and a half dollars was pulled out of Home Capital. Now, how do they make their money? They make their money by charging more for mortgages than they do for deposit accounts. This spread's called a net interest margin. It's 2.37% uh, in the last quarter. It's kind of leverage that works fantastically until it doesn't in scenarios like this. Now they received a two billion dollar line of credit from the Healthcare of Ontario pension plan. Uh, home capital has drawn a billion dollars from it. They're paying 22.5 percent on that first billion dollars which is more than an average credit card for everybody but I mean trying to get a couple billion dollar line of credit access is insane. Also, the, uh, one of their competitors, Equitable Bank, has gotten a, a billion, couple billion dollar line of credit as well. So Home Capital is not the only um, alternative lending solu uh, solution that is being hit really hard right now. So CDIC came out and said that they're ready to cover up to $100,000 just like they insure. Uh, CDIC covers $100,000 for every deposit account. Um, they, they came out saying that they're going to have no trouble fulfilling that if Home Capital were to go under. Now, they replaced a few members of their board of directors and they pushed their earnings back to May 11th. It was supposed to come out last week. So it's going to be interesting to see how this story develops um, and how they can actually do some damage control. Now, with the massive sell-off, people are asking, is Home Capital a buy? Well, it really comes down to one thing. Are they going to go bankrupt? And that's, you know, it's very hard to determine um, if that's going to happen. So the negative carry from their line of credit is going to be massive and it's going to be a very, very long road for them to get back on their feet. But analysts at Bloomsburg are saying that their stocks are $25 a share. Um, so we'll see how many people take advantage of that buying on value. So it's about it's, uh, $6 a share right now. So it's obviously some people think that's huge upside. But then again, if it goes belly up, then you're left with nothing. So this is a very, very high risk scenario. Uh, their dividend right now is 12.95% since their drop, which uh, Jim, Jim Cramer likes to call the accidental high yield. So the big question comes down when the mortgages are going to be refinanced and can they keep positive cash flow. So are they going to keep getting influx, influx of cash through GICs and deposit accounts? Um, I know Royal Bank has stopped selling their GICs. Uh, I'm not sure about the other major banks, but this is going to hurt them very, very badly because they can't keep that um, the net interest margin. I know 2.3% doesn't sound like much, but they've made billions and billions of dollars, and that's that's their how they make their money. Uh, so it's going to be, can they keep selling their GICs, um, and they, are they going to be able to pay off this crazy amount of debt? I mean, it's going to cost them millions and millions of dollars of 22.5% on a billion dollars right now. So this is a crazy story all around Canadian finance right now. What do you guys think about it? Leave your comment in the section below. Would you buy home capital right now? Are you going to catch the falling knife? Do you think there's value in the company? Or are you on the short seller side? I mean, the short, the short sellers have already made thousands and thousands of dollars. I'm sure millions already. It tumbled like crazy over the last couple of days. But what do you think? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Stick around to the channel for some more financial news as well as financial stock picks. And thanks for watching.